Hi, this is Scott, the Peaceful Shaver, and today I thought I'd do a video shave of the day. I have my beautiful wife, Lynn. You want to turn it around to yourself for a sec? Manning the cameras. Thank you. And so she's helping me. I don't usually like to shave on camera, but I'm going to give it a try, see how this works. Uh, if I don't like the way it looks, I may not post it, but we'll see how it goes. So for today's shave, I'm going to be using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD, which is an awesome, awesome soap, as most PAA products are. And my 1961 Gillette 195 Fat Boy. And I'm going to have it on number seven for the first pass. And I usually do seven for the first pass. A lot of times I'll leave it on second, seven for the second pass, maybe dial it down to five, and then maybe a three for the for the third pass. And new in the den this week, my Kelly Hogan Beaver Woodwright Synthetic Shave Market number 12 Ooh. shaving brush, which is beautiful. Kelly does an unbelievable job. And each one of these is unique. None of them, no two are exactly the same. And I picked the synthetic knot, which I, which I really enjoy a synthetic knot. So I've had my puck blooming. I'm just gonna go ahead and load up. Oh, so I love the smell of CAD. This stuff is great. The barbershop scent. You like that, honey? Smell it. Mm. That good. Nice. Yeah. All the Phoenix products are just terrific. And load it like you hate it. You have any comments, honey? <laughs> wanna, anytime you want to interject, go ahead and throw anything in here. Okay. <laughs> right. so I just kind of freestyle this. I don't. Uh, I don't have any script that I work from. I just go ahead and shave. Any thoughts that I come to mind? I, so that looks pretty good. Go ahead and wet my face. Some of this soap right from the puck for the first pass. I usually use a little bit of this for the first pass, mm -hmm. and then I'll save some of that for the third pass, and that should be enough for three passes. The, uh, the fibers on this synthetic, Kelly sourced from China, um, and he has it more densely packed than other 24, this is a 24 millimeter knot, and he, he has it more densely packed than other 24s. I, think he, I can't remember the exact weight that he told me in grams, but significantly more than, uh, than other synthetic 24s uh, because of the, uh, the more densely packed fibers that he uses. And uh, awesome job, Kelly. Oh, why it's so soft? So soft. I mean, it's just really, it's, to me, it's as soft as a Poisson. Um, the softest fibers I felt in a synthetic, I would say have to belong to the fine Angel Soft um, brush, which is a really, really soft brush. Really small. Um, the one I have is, I believe, a 20 millimeter knot. And it's, it's a nice brush. Um, this is a lot bigger. This, the, the knot is bigger, the handle's bigger. It's a, it's a great, great brush. All right. Good enough for government work. So, most of the time I have a lot of, I have a lot of razors. Most of the time lately, I've been using my, um, my modern day razors as opposed to my vintage razors. One of the vintage razors that I really, really enjoy using is uh, the Gillette Adjustables. Um, I love how there's that final quarter turn that locks it down. On some of the, um, the Butterfly Open, the, uh, the Super Speeds and the Knacks, um, they have a tendency to loosen up during the shave and you have to continually tighten it down. You know, we always, Lynn and I use 
the neck to do my head. We use it to yeah. do her legs, and it does open up. Sometimes you have to mm -hmm. retighten it. And on the fat boy, you don't have to worry about that. So first pass will be with the grain. Plus, I really love the heft of the fat boy. Um, it's a nice heavy razor. I like to use my, my modern day stainless steel razors because of the heft. And even though this isn't stainless steel, um, you know, it's nickel, it still has a lot of heft to it. And so you don't have to apply any pressure at all, just the weight of the razor. So how would that one be on your head? Um, I think if we use this on a lower setting, like a one, two, or a three, I think that'd be great, because I tend to like using the lower settings on my head. Yeah. Uh, but because of the heft of it, I think it'd be good. And I think we did use it on my head once. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure we did. Let me know if we get close to that 10 minute mark, because I don't want to go over. So, oh, and I'm using my favorite blade. Mm, Oshkod. Oshkod's. Yep. So I've got quite a few yeah. of them ready for the shape Yeah, I know. <laughs> got about 9,000 of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> about 1,100 of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oshkot's are good for three shapes. Um, I could probably push it beyond that, but I don't really feel the need to. You know, blades are really cheap. They're only, Oshkot's cost me less than 10 cents each. What's the point of pushing it beyond three shapes? Because we all took up wet shaving to save money anyway, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's that working out? Chin, so I always have to be really careful. You see my hands are shaking, they my hands shake. <laughs> A little bit shaky. So it's nothing unusual. Right, baby? Yep. Right, so let's go to the first pass. the smell of this? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's a barbershop scent. Do you know how they got, uh, he got the names CAD or CAD? Do you know where that came from? Did I tell you? Um, you probably did. <laughs> <laughs> so when he first came out, when Douglas Smythe first came out with this soap, um, it was under the, um, his old brand of How to Grow a Mustache. And it was a um, barbershop scent that was close to Barbasol. Mm. And he called it Barber Soul or Barber Pole. Yeah. Um, and he got a cease and desist letter from Barber Soul. And That's so, really yeah, you yeah. did tell me. Now this remember. is this is uh, this might be one of the my top five scents in all of wet shaving. Is 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 his is CAD. Yeah. All right. So across the grain. Mm. My favorite is the sandalwood. Yeah. Well, we, we use um, Douglas's um, sandalwood shave stick a lot. Uh, when we do my head, we do your legs, right? Yep. That's what we tend to use. And the shave stick works great. All the, all the Phoenix products are great. How many minutes in are we? Nine and a half. Nine and a half, all right. So I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I just want to want to thank you for watching. I'm going to finish up my shave, and uh, have a great day.